What is going on guys? Hi, I'm Brian back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial on how to make a uh, BeamMP server. Alright, so the first step you want to do is, if you're on a VPS, uh, don't use Internet Explorer. I mean, you can download whatever web browser you want, but in this case I'm using uh, RPGX because it works with Windows uh, Server 2019. Alright, first step is to go to BMP. Go to bmp.com. And you don't want to download the client that's for uh, playing the game and connecting to the server. Uh, you want to download the server zip. But I'm not going to do that. I have already, I already have my server uh, all set up. But I'm going to go through the steps on how to port forward and all that as well. I'll close my locks. Uh, let's see here. Where is there's the config file? Uh, notepad. I use Notepad just because I, it's already on here and I don't have to do anything. Alright, so the port is going to be 38. One floor. That's going to be the port that we're going to do to um, put it in to the uh, our uh, router and the firewall. Um, in this instance, you can change the map. I have a modded map. It's called River Highway. Um, it's actually really really fun. Um, but yeah, let's let's go to the firewall here. Now you don't want to go to the regular firewall, you want to go to uh, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. This is the firewall that allows uh, specific ports to come through. Um, as you can see, I already have them, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You would click on New Rule, Port, and you would have to, uh, unfortunately, you have to go in and redo it as UDP. Um, but you do the port here. What's the port again? I don't have very good memory. Uh, oh, I got that completely wrong. God damn it. And that would be the port you click on next. Allow this connection to go through. Next, and then you would name it. Now, since I already have it in, I don't want to go and double it. Now, it's the same thing for the outbound rule. So you'd have to set it as TCP and UDP. Um, next, do the port. But I'm not gonna, you know. Uh, unfortunately, I have to. Alrighty. Unfortunately, I have to put that in. I was trying to skip that. Next, what? Uh, oh shit, that's the wrong port, that's why. Oops. 308104. Now with this, you don't want to have it selected as block connection. You want to have it to allow the connection to the server, um, which it will, you know, basically make it so you can connect to it. And then just leave all the same thing, and then name it whatever you want. Um, now for mods and stuff, <coughs> we would go into the resources folder. Client. And this is where all the mods would go for that. Um, So I'll show you how to get to OSCE as well. Um, I also will leave a link to the website where I get my first server from. All right. um, so the server's up now. Nobody can connect to it because I have it set to private. Um, right here. I always will have the server set to private. I might do another one underneath a different port that is public that everybody can join. But really, the only people that can join this server as it stands up right now 
is you have to be a follower on my Twitch in order to be able to play on it. Um, so it's like, I don't know how to put it. It's like a incentive for followers. That's what it would be. All right. Um, so we would go, now if you did, I don't know if I copied it over here or not. I did. So here's the VMP server that zip. You have to, oh no, this is a .rar. You have to go to the windows and drag and drop it onto your desktop or if you want to make a separate folder. You know, I don't want to replace it because uh, for obvious reasons because uh, I don't want to fuck up my server. But when you uh, when you first run it, it will be just this exe. Then it will make the server config um, in the server, which is, this is the logs. So like right here, this would be, if, if the server was up, people were joining, it would be, you know, I'd show them joining. Um, now, I should have saved that as the logs. Um, but yeah. All right. Now it's time for the um, router part. Now I have to do this on my personal desktop because of the fact that um, with a VPS, uh, it's hosted through a company where they already have a, it's not behind a NAT router, which a NAT router is basically like a home network router. They have an industrial grade uh, stuff. Now this, it's pretty simple. I have a Netgear. It's basically the same thing um, everywhere else. You would go into advanced. If you had an advanced tab or main tab, um, you would go to administrations. You would go to, oh, no, I'm not administration, sorry. Advanced settings. Underneath advanced settings fire it says port forwarding, port triggering. Um, then here, I don't, oh, this is for Norm, more and how me and my buddy have been playing that a lot uh, lately. We would go to add custom service. Unfortunately, this web router is kind of, you know, slow. Um, you would choose what address you would want it to be, which is that one. Now in your home router, you can set it uh, to TCP and UDP, service name, BMMP, um, port, uh, the port range right here, which would be the same for both. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. So if you like this video, uh, like, subscribe, comment if you need any help. I'm really good at giving help. Or you can join my Discord and create a ticket. I have a ticket system set up in there. Um, so yeah, see you next time.